overwhelming win. The crowd responds, extremely large crowd, very appreciative, certainly into all the events that are going on this afternoon. Great speed down the runway as befits the world record holder for 100 meters. Nice preparation, good lift, and a two and a half hitch kick for a nice landing, very close to nine meters. Lifting, running in the air, only to achieve a better landing position. It doesn't give you extra distance. 883 of the distance for Carl Lewis. A wind aid at 883. It was over the allowable limit of two meters per second. Tremendous 
speed from the world record holder for the 100 meters. Good preparation, great lift, and a fine leg shoot. How far is it? Lewis wants to know. So does Mike Powell. It's 887, not enough. Now, Carl Lewis, one more opportunity to wrest the gold medal and perhaps the world record away from Mike Powell. Another tremendous jump by Carl Lewis. However, I don't think this one is going to be close enough. No, it isn't. It's 884, and Mike Powell celebrates not only a gold medal, the throning a man who has been unbeaten for a decade, but setting a world record in the process, <laughs> and he hugs the official he was not too pleased with just a while ago on his fourth round jump. Somewhat ironic that Lewis, having had a 10-year undefeated streak, should lose this undefeated streak, and at the same time, Mike Powell gets a world record that Lewis has never had in the long jump. Are you ready to fly?